Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you may be. I am Mizzo9, and welcome once again to Salpit Farms, where today I'm going to be, as usual, pootering, or, uh, there, there, pootering about a bit, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But I already do have a first job in mind. Um, for a while, I have had at the top of my list, build last field, before make more fields, which I've already done. <coughs> And I've been un unable to decide what to fill it with. But I have um, recently been having a bit of a look around at what I've got and decided that I've not got enough fruits. Not for any particular reason, I just want more fruit. I like fruit, it's a very tasty type of food in general. Um, so I had a look at what fruits I had available and I had a ton of cranberries. So I figured make a cranberry field. But you know what? As fruit goes, cranberries aren't all that great. So, I've decided that I'm going to do it half cranberries, half strawberries, because everyone loves strawberries. Um, but my strawberries aren't really grown very much yet, so I've just planted a few more of them where the cranberries were in this field. Well, not all of the cranberries, obviously, there's still one there. But, yeah, I've um, planted a bunch of strawberries to get them growing up. And, um... All that there is to do now for this is come over, not here, but here, and plant the cranberries. Uh, I've measured out 20 of them, which is half the field, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 8, yeah. Yeah, it should be. That should just fill this area nicely. And allow me to get... I need to turn them into seeds first, silly mez. And in fact, I've got eight seeds already, so... I don't quite need all of them turned into seeds, and the rest I can probably eat or something. It's worth noting, I don't really need to be particularly, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Protective of them. It's not the word I was looking for, but it'll do. Um, because I've already got a stack and a half of them, and I haven't even started farming them properly yet. So, that'll do nicely. Now, I will address this. Um, this was meant to be filmed and put out yesterday, but yesterday I generally had quite a busy day. Wasn't home for most of it. And that's actually going to be happening every other Monday. So, I've been thinking quite a bit and decided that, since I don't really do anything specific on Tuesdays anyway... Um, Every other week, this is going to come out on Tuesday instead of Monday. Simple as that. So next week, this will be Monday again, and then the week after, it will be Tuesday again, and so on and so forth. For those of you that might not have understood. Although I think I explained it fine in the first place. I'm just rambling now, because I've run out of things to talk about already. Well, wow, that's a great sign three minutes into the video. Okay. <coughs> So let's um, dump all of my crops in their proper locations, and I'm going to take the cranberries out of here. What's that? Blackberries, okay. Yeah, take the cranberries out of there, because I'm going to want to give them a proper place, like everything else I'm farming. Let's stick the rice, the gut, uh, onion even, in there. Uh, I don't have any beans. And the meat goes in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this fermented spider eye. A spider dropped it a few minutes ago while I was warming up. I'm just going to chuck it in here, to be honest. I don't know if I can eat it or anything. Although it would generally say how much food it value it is. So I don't think I can eat it. And then, because I've been running low on space downstairs, but got plenty up here, I've made a few chests up here. And I'm just going to stick the fruit in here for now. Simple as that. So, that can come down now. Lovely. And in fact, I'm going to grab some bone meal. I shouldn't need too much of it. And see if I can get those um, strawberries ready today as well. Have I got any more strawberry seeds? I believe I planted all of them. E-R-Q-R-S. Doesn't look like it. No, no strawberry seeds. So I'm just going to have to rely on the growing strawberries. Which there are plenty of, so it shouldn't take too long, but none of them seem to be remotely grown yet. Oh, 
I've got some mustard seeds, lovely. Can I just plant them as they are, or do they need to be turned into mustard seed seeds? I can just plant them as they are, good. Good, that's at least logical. Now, there's a strawberry, lovely, that's what I was looking for. Let's just... Oh, wow, this isn't really very good one to bone meal, is it? I got three out of that. Hmm, not too keen. Oh well, since that they're obviously going to take a while, I'm going to just um, pull up some other things to plant more strawberries. Simple as that. Leek, scallion, rye, mustard seeds. I want to find more cranberries. Or beans. Because I did come across a couple of patches of beans in this field that don't really need to be here. There's one. Well, that's me out of um, seeds now anyway. So yeah, strawberries should be um, booming soon enough. But I'll have to wait for them to grow by the seams of things. Oh, I really ought to cover that up. I'm not going to because I'm lazy, but I really ought to. So, what's next? Build a fruit tree thing and food storage building. Uh, find, mix better metals, upgrade tools, and make some cool and awesome foods, as always. So, metals. Let's go out to the smeltery. I've dumped most of my ores in there. I've still got a bit of aluminium with me. If you remember from me expanding it last time. Yeah, he got out, so I destroyed the little pen I made him. I'm going to have to find him a leash at some point. Which requires a bit of slime, but... Nothing I can do for that for now. So yeah, I just dumped all of my um, stuff in here, and it's made a few interesting alloys, like bronze and electrum, and I don't know how any of it works. There's some... Can I do that? No. That's a shame. But I have got, like, 80 ingots of bronze, so let's pull one out and see what I can do with it. If I'm not mistaken, bronze is just copper and tin, so it's probably not going to be great. Although I can imagine it being at... Oh, one moment, folks. So sorry about that, folks. People shouting for my attention while they know I'm recording. I should have just ignored them, to be honest, but that's a bit rude of me, if I were to. Now, I was looking at what I can use bronze for. Um, let's just do that for now. Interesting. Okay, I can use it to make a tool forge. In its current form, at the very least, which is kind of something I needed. Seems to be just about it. Although, if I break it down, let's see what else I can use it for. Hopefully tooling of some variety. Oh, of course, Tinker's Mech Works. I always forget about that. It's the one part of um, Tinker's Construct I don't really go into very often. Making drawbridges and drawbridges and igniters and drawbridges. And a bronze upgrade for mine factory. That's interesting, I guess. None of this is really anything too useful for me, though, right now. course, bronze gears for forestry. It's an interesting one. I wonder what makes it a survivalist's pickaxe and why it needs to be upside down in the crafting grid. <laughs> Spectacles. Interesting. And same with the shovel. That's odd. Of course we've got the wrench. Infuser, I don't know what that even is. So yeah, basically, there's a couple of things I might want to make with this, but for the most part, it doesn't seem to be particularly useful. Let's just check through the other stuff as well. Oh. I don't even... Okay. Whatever that is, okay. 
So yeah, new metals. I'm just going to ignore the rest of that. Aluminium, lead, silver. Uh, I've not really got a lot of anything in here, to be honest. Except that bronze, which has just soaked up all of my tin and um, copper, by the looks of it. Well, I'm dropping these silver nuggets in there, because that's all dropped from mobs over time. And I wanted four of these blocks to make a tool forge, and a tool forge is something I need. Because then I can make bigger tools, if not better tools. Now, I believe it did need some seared bricks for that. Um, let's do it from here, because then I can just imprint the recipe. Yeah, it's just seared bricks, it's not got alternatives. So I'm going to have to get some more grout, which means I'm going to need to get some more clay. And possibly gravel? I should have plenty of gravel, though I normally do. Um, fine, that can be my goal for today. Bit of clay, bit of gravel. I've got plenty of sand, last time I checked. If I can clear off that notice board, it'll be lovely and simpler. I think I'm going to need a little bit more wood as well. Oh, sorry, hiccup. A bit, bit more wood as well, but that's all um, farmable. So, what did I need? I needed... Um, I'll see if I've got any wood in here. Oh yeah, I've got loads of wood. Brilliant. Let's turn this jungle wood into a crafting station. I didn't really press the right button there, did I? Come on, there's... Crafting table, crafting station. And I'll put the rest of my jungle wood back in there. <coughs> yeah, plenty of sand. But where is all my gravel? There's gravel bricks there. Seriously, where is all my gravel? I must have a ton of it. I've always got a ton of gravel. It's just a thing. I, how do I not have spare gravel? What the hell is going on in this world that I don't have spare gravel? We'll see in the morning. By the way, that um, mez went up in flames in the at the bottom of the um. Ah, oh, crap! I'll finish that thought in a minute because that's something that's attacking me. Um, I wonder what though. I mean, it's a pretty safe area now. In my house, especially. Nothing can even get on the farm grounds, as far as I'm aware, so... Something cobweb attacking me in my house is a bit weird. Whoa! Rocket creeper or something? I know that they've all got those weird, um... Changes to them in this mod pack, so... I'm going to accept that that probably was a rocket creeper or something. Cow jumping on my asparagus. You need to get out of there now, mate. I need these crops to be growing. I'm pretty sure I've told you this already. I don't want to have to kill you, because I don't want to kill cows. It's... No. No. Stay off my crops. I need wheat. That'll lure them off. More cobwebs there. Odd. I need to find out what's creating them. But I shan't complain about free string. Look, look, wheat, come on. 
This way. Follow the wheat. Follow the wheat. That was meant to go into something a little musical, but it didn't really work out. Um, this way, Mr. Cow. This way. Look, look, delicious food. Come on. There we go. I got him around the corner at least, and now he'll just follow along this way. Look, what's in there? Other than popping through the fence somehow. Look, everyone, wheat. And then I just leave and lock them in. Lovely. Now they shan't cause me any more problems. Let's get an um, extra cow as well while I'm there with a handful of wheat. Should cut across the field. And let's get these crops replanted again. Not to mention them. Um, pick the finished ones. Garlic needs a replant. Fine by me. I don't mean to put, pick buckets up there. Leak. Rye. Leaky rye. My rye is leaking. Uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about at this point. Although I suppose I really, really do. And while I'm over here, let's um, harvest up all this rice. I don't eat it. I need it to make beans and rice. I've only got two dishes of it left of the three. Actually, that's lasting me quite a while. I'm surprised by that. I've been um, on here for a few in-game days and still got quite a bit of rice available to me. Got another strawberry as well. I'm a little worried about them only growing one strawberry per plant because that's going to make this take ages. But oh well. I've made my decision and I'm going to stick with it. I'm also going to harvest some more of these while I'm here. I tend not to harvest things once they're in the main field so much, which is the weird part. Not really got much else to say about it. Right, let's take out this. Drop my um, spare foods in the um, foods places. Oh, beans don't go in there anymore, nor does rice. They could both go in there now. Lovely. And all of my seeds into the seed box. Now, let's go find that clay and gravel. I only need three blocks of seared bricks, which means I need 12 individual bricks. Um, which means I need six of each of the brick ingredients. Six gravel, six clay, six sand. Because I make two at a time. Um, that looks like clay over there. Wonderful, didn't have to go too far for that at all. That would be more than enough. And while I'm here, I'm running a little low on salt. I may as well grab some. I'll leave the rest of that clay there. I don't really see the need to grab it. Same with that bit there. Now, there's something I've only recently learned about clay on Minecraft, and that's that it can quite often spawn in quite large quantities underneath the sand. I don't know why I bounced my in-game head. Um, I, I guess it's just gesturing in-game. I suppose it's something I should kind of get a bit more used to doing since I do record these quite often. To be honest, I don't really play this when I'm not going to record it these days. 
I'll just do like a little hour or two of prep work before I start recording. And sometimes a little bit of um, clean up after recording. Because sometimes it's needed. But generally, I don't come on here unless I'm planning to record something. Also, why am I harvesting wood? I don't need wood for any reason. I need to go and find some gravel. Splush. Okay, let's go find this gravel then. If I can. There's probably some down here. I believe I fetched some from here before. No, oh, there's some right there. Oh. Well, hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodbye, Mr. Creeper. I feel a little worried about that little patch of gravel there, so... Screw it. I only need a few. I guess I'll just have to nerd pole back out with something else. And preferably not get attacked by that creeper while I'm figuring it out. Probably should have killed him first. You know, it would have been the um, logical thing to do. I could probably walk out, to be honest, because there's torches in here, which means I can get in here. There's also a sheep here. Enjoying these caves, Mr. Sheepy. Good. That's what I like to hear. That's what I'll have to do for now. So that's where all my gravel's gone, that sort of thing, I guess. Um, I seem to just be going deeper. This was not the intent. Let's get out of there. I'm not up for some zombie fighting right now. I just want to upgrade my smeltery to have better tooling facilities. It's all I'm here for. And that's why I'm now leaving. Can I actually get out this way at all? Or is it just a dead end? It's all dark now. I can't see what I'm even doing. Uh, let's stick a torch. Just there-ish. Sure. I couldn't even see where I was placing it, so sure. Well, yeah, I can't get out of here. Let's leave that up there, actually, and see if I can dig my way out. Because at least then I can get in and out at will next time. Screw you, game. Screw you. I've got to be almost there now, though. Either way, I'm down to mud, which is nice and easy to dig through, at the very least. And there's some sand there. Maybe I should grab it, but I can't be asked. Oh. Oh, this has actually come up inside my farm. That's interesting. That's particularly interesting, actually. Let's eat one of these before I starve. And fill in the hole, I guess. Huh. How odd. Sun is setting, so um, let's head on to bed. And I've just remembered what I was trying to say earlier. Um, said at the bottom, you know, you'll see it again in a moment. Mez went up in flames. That wasn't actually today. That was me reading a gravestone earlier to see why there was a gravestone in the middle of nowhere. Apparently it was me. And that's why. So, what was I doing? Oh, of course I was. I need some sand for that. I was making 12 seared bricks in order to make a um, tool forge. And to make 12 seared bricks, we need 6, sorry, 12 grout. Which means we need 6 of each ingredient, if I remember correctly. Wunderbar! Uh, 
Okay. Where is this? Why have I cooked up glass? Well, I'll stick it down in my weird block chest. Because that's where it would th theoretically live. And wait for the grout to cook. Meanwhile, I'll eat another one of these beans and rice. <coughs> and, um... Make some more beans and rice. I believe that that was the ingredients I required. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but should be right. Right? Why have I got two pots? Now. Um, let's see. No, that's not what I mean. That's what I mean. Yes, I got the correct ingredients, I got the correct tools. Wonderful. And I should have enough to make nine? And then I'm just going to need more pork anyway. And pork I can get with very little issue there. Let's put them back away. And put them back away. Resort. Sure, fine by me. Yeah, I've got loads of raw pork, so let's just stick some of them into there. Wonderful. Uh, just need one more of them to cook and then I'm ready. I've still got all these apple pies with me. Me. There we go. So that should just split like that and make three seared brick bricks. Quick stroll into my other building. And it was in here. And I just needed to do that. And that, if I remember correctly, that should make a t tool forge. Oh, it's a tool station, not a... Um, crafting bench. Silly mez. Do I have any blank patterns left? Oh, yeah, they can go in there. I've been walking around with them all day for no reason. Just because I wanted to get them out of my chest. No, I've not got any blank patterns, and to be honest, <coughs> I should do. So five blank patterns is going to be more than enough. I just need to um, mix one with that. And then the rest can go into... Not there. 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 Thank you. Lovely. And then this. We'll make the tool forge. Which effectively, if I remember correctly, if it still does as it used to, yeah, it's just an upgraded tool station mixed with an anvil. So there's all these extra weapons I can make, such as a lumber axe, which might be lovely. Or a um, excavator. Or a scythe. I should probably make a scythe. Although, I don't really harvest things like I normally would. What else? Um, I could make a chivel. Chisel, chisel, but I don't see any point. To be honest, I don't need the most of these, but I'd like a lumber axe. I'd potentially like a hammer. I don't see the need for a cleaver, to be honest. And, um, more importantly, I believe I've got a, an enchanting book that I can now actually use. I think you need an anvil to use them. It's not something I use very often, but based on a video I recently watched, you can use them in an anvil, so why should you not be able to um, use them in a tool forge? A sharpness 5, so if anything that should go into the sword, if it can. I'm not sure that you even can enchant Tinker's stuff, but... 
Yeah, not by the looks of it. That's kind of interesting. Of course, I haven't put anything on any of these. It's just the um, modifiers I've been given with my level ups. And it's interesting to see the amount of modifier it's given it. And looking at this, these four, I can all get to a better state without using any of my free modifier slots. But that's not particularly um, relevant to what I'm looking at right now. What I'm looking at right now is potentially making a hammer, for which I need a hammerhead cast, a um, strong tool rod cast, and two plates. So, have we got any of them? Probably not. Tool rod, saw blade, saw bl oh. That'll be tool rod as well. No, I don't have any tough tool rod stuff. So, tough tool rod, hammer red, hammer red, hammer head, and plate is what I need. I'm not quite sure where I'll find any of these in the list, although that looks like a hammer head. Yes, that's the hammer head pattern. Board. Is board what I want? I don't think so. I think it was plate. Um, there's the tough tool rod. And that looks like the plate one. And I only need one of them, despite needing two plates. Because that's not the way it works. Um, now. Do I want to build the hammer right now? Well, I may as well. There's no reason not to. And should I want to do some more di mining, it'll be nice to have something hammer-esque, at the very least. Uh, I'll, I'm happy to leave the um, tough tool rod wooden, because wooden tool rods work quite well, although it's not letting me make it like that. Let's try it like that. Material cost 3, valid material, stone, obsidian, netherrack, thaumium. Stone, obsidian, netherrack, thaumium, that's um, for the most part. That's thaumium as well. Um, well, if I'm going to be making thaumium tools, if that's the only metal I can make these out of, I'm going to want to get into thaumcraft a little bit. And of course, who knows thaumcraft better than me? Probably a few people, to be honest, but... I do know thaumcraft ridiculously well. So, since I've got everything I need to get basically started, let's do exactly that. I'm not doing that right, am I? And I don't need three iron caps, I need two. Not very much. And yeah, I'm aware I could have made gold. I'd rather do that for a proper wand rather than the um, iron capped wooden wand. Nice, cheap, basic Thamcraft starter stuff. <coughs> mm -hmm. Lovely. The other thing I need to get started in Thamcraft is a bookcase, and again, got everything I need for that, assuming I've got the leather for it. I don't want to kill cows for leather. Really don't. But I believe I've got some leather in my cupboard, and I should only need three? Yeah, three. Three books. So, in we go. Um... Find that leather. Should be in here. In theory, if not practice. I don't see any. I suppose it must be with all of my gravel then. It's not going to be in any of these, I'm sure. And I doubt I've put it in here by accident, but I've put it in here by accident. And three is the exact number I need as well, that's wonderful. Um, yeah. And also, three is the exact number I need. Split them up, 
chuck in the leather. Lovely. And along there. Oh, no, wait, I need more wood first. Two more planks, but, you know, you can't make two planks at a time. Lovely. Bookshelf. Just plonk it down any old where. And spell it into my Thaumonomicon, which is essentially the basis of getting started in Thaumcraft. Now, they have changed the research quite a lot since um, I learnt it, but doesn't mean I can't understand it anymore. Um, so I've got to research through all of these bit by bit, and I'm not going to do that on screen. I'm going to research them off screen. Uh, I'm just curious to see what you start off knowing now, because you didn't start off knowing some of these things before. And also, look, it's got the entire map, like, visible before you even start research. Ah, it's not the entire at all, is it? It's far from it, to be honest. But it's got loads of stuff visible before you start even researching. This is the one section of Famcraft that I never, ever bother to look at. Apiamancy. I don't give a crap about bees. I don't think anyone really does. So, yeah. This is the um, stuff I'm going to be looking into in the near future. In fact, my first goal will be the goggles of revealing, but I need scribing tools to get the research notes. And in fact, I need to do quite a bit of setting up for Thamcraft. So you know what? I'm going to add this to the to-do list and and probably close for today, because I'm uh, running short on time. Set up Thamcraft stuff. Oh. Oh. Uh, Found stuff, will that fit? Yes. And make te goggles. Wonderful. Um, aside from that, I think that's me running low on time for today and needing the toilet, so I may as well cut it here. It's not like I had anything else I planned to do. It's not like I had anything I planned to do in the first place. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed today's not quite as relaxed as usual, to be honest, episode. And um, I'll see you all next time for a bit of starting up with Thamcraft and using that to work the farm. I'm probably going to go down the um, farming golems route, if anything. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, Give me a like or a favourite, and comment to let me know what you think about me going into Thamcraft on the farm. Because it wasn't exactly the goal at any point. It's just something I've suddenly decided to do if I'm going to need Thamium. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!